Hello, I'm Boaz Faraday Schumann, and I'm here with Julia Klima, who is the organizer of our international conference on the metaphysics and theology of the Eucharist, uh, sponsored by Professor Miklos Kasla and the um, Institute for Hungarian Research. And we're at the tail end of the conference now, so we have, we're in a great position to give all our kind of general impressions. Uh, so wh why don't you tell me, Julia, what do you, what do you think of it? What's, what sticks with you in all this? Well, in the first place, I would say generally it was a great success. I agree. So <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm glad you agree. <laughs> so it's, it's not coming only from me, right? Yeah. Oh, but yeah. Uh, but uh, generally, uh, uh, as far as the uh, program is concerned, it was incredibly rich, diverse. Um, we covered um, all possible historical periods, almost all possible uh, uh, geographical regions um, in which uh, the um, idea had a history. And we um, went into such depths oh, yes. that um, uh, perhaps uh, it is too much even uh, for some specialists. So um, <laughs> yeah. in, um, in all possible dimensions, uh, this has been um, a very expansive and yet very dense program, mm -hmm. um, which is why we are a little bit tired at, at the end. But, um, uh, you know, this uh, the kind of tiredness that you feel after a job well done. Yes, after a good workout. <laughs> um, and I think I, uh, talking with people and especially conducting these interviews, I think that that's one of the chief things, the two, two points that you've identified really come out in the interviews. One is the diversity and the wide variety of opinions, backgrounds, and intellectual traditions, and also that uh, even, you know, no one is so expert, I think, here that that they've not come away with some real surprises. Um, for me, I think, for instance, Istvan's talk and finding out about the these Syriac, the Syriac background or, you know, and these Syriac editions and translations of uh, Pseudo-Dionysius was really quite striking. Um, and um, I'm going to have to reconsider a lot, I think, on the basis of that. Um, yeah. Do you want to say anything about any of the, conversa or the conversations or yes. presentations specifically? It is, uh, well, I mean, now that you, you mentioned uh, what stood out uh, as a really surprising uh, bit of information that uh, you could pick up here and only here, mm -hmm. I was uh, um, uh, perhaps the most uh, uh, shocking piece of information that I picked up here was about the uh, practice among uh, Arab Christians. Mm -hmm. um, um, uh, that uh, actually uh, uh, consisted in eating genuine pieces of flesh mm. of, of, of lamb, uh, right? So who knew? <laughs> that, no, that is one it of was really things. surprising, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so, um, but other than that, mostly, um, uh, obviously, I was in, involved in uh, particularly the, the, the discussions of the scholastic accounts mm -hmm. and uh, uh, the diversity of those. And um, what I really enjoyed was um, the, um, this analytical rigor mm -hmm. with which uh, most of our, almost all of our uh, presenters really, uh, whose uh, topics so all of our presenters, whose topic so, was in that was field, say, oh, <laughs> yeah, actually yeah. all of them yeah. uh, uh, treated their authors and their texts with texts with that analytic rigor that um, very clearly teased out precisely what were those uh, hidden, occasionally even hidden assumptions mm -hmm. that. Uh, drove uh, the considerations of one author against the other, these different kinds of intuitions. And these different kinds of intuitions actually a um, number of times um, uh, brought to the fore uh, the question of precisely what drives here what. Is it uh, theological principles uh, that uh, reshape metaphysical intuitions? Or is it metaphysical intuitions that have um, um, an impact on uh, theological uh, interpretations of otherwise unquestionable uh, dogmas, and uh, even in, co in connection with metaphysical principles, uh, the question popped up, uh, how are they based on semantical in intuitions and vice versa? How do uh, perhaps some metaphysical considerations reshape um, our uh, 
semantical intuitions of what is the proper, proper way of articulating oh, certain metaphysical principles, etc., mm -hmm. which uh, actually led to um, the idea that uh, we are going to uh, reconvene, not exactly and not necessarily the um, same particular uh, bunch of people, but we are going to uh, reconvene as a society um, devoted to the European history of ideas. And uh, the next meeting topic will be um, this, um, precisely this issue, the issue of first principles, semantical, mm -hmm. metaphysical, and theological. That's very exciting. So we have something of an announcement here to mm -hmm. uh, round things out. I just wanted to echo a couple of points you made a moment ago, too, that, um, but first I'll say I'm very excited for this uh, upcoming conference I'm, I'm, or meeting. I'm, I'm, I have my own uh, thoughts on the, some of the principles and, uh, you know, on Buridan on the principles, and I, I will be exploring those in the coming months, and I hope to come up with something worth sharing with you all, but I, I think that the... You will have a place in the volume. Okay, well, <laughs> thank you. So I think that the, um, just to return to the point about the quality of the presentations, I felt as though um, not only the high quality, but the high level of consistency. It felt like being in a museum, like a gallery, where each one you go up and you sort of have this little picture, and it's all kind of well self-contained, and yet there's, it's so well curated, there's a thread that kind of runs through them all. And um, this, I think this meeting is remarkable in that respect, because I found, you know, sometimes the level of consistency or quality, it varies more. But I think that this one, I was really you know, struck by it. It was, um, it was, uh, it was uh, yeah, a lot, of, <laughs> a lot of home runs, I guess I would, is how I'd put it. But, um, and yeah, I mean, even the question that came up, you returned to the, a question that came up at the very outset, um, which came first, sort of the semantics or the metaphysics. And I think that these, what this drove, I think it was Josh that asked you that, wasn't it? Yes. What, and not only him. Um, it came up, um, I think, also uh, in a conversation with Istvan, um, in another con conversation with Giovanni. Uh, it, uh, so it was a recurring theme. Mm -hmm. That is precisely why uh, I suggested that uh, let this be the topic of the ne next conference um, in about a year. Yes, well, I will be looking forward to that yes. and gathering our notes. Um, in mm -hmm. the meantime, I have a lot to chew through in my own notebook just from this meeting as well. So well, thank you so much, Jula. Um, this has been wonderful. I thank you for this um, very neat interview. I really yes. enjoyed it.